There are multiple ways to launch the demon. We had an instructor sitting in the passenger seat as we pulled up to the beams that trigger the Christmas tree at Lucas Oil Raceway. He walks us through the most complicated of the three he had explained to us just minutes before when we were in the passenger seat. With our left foot on the brake, we pull on both of the shifter paddles on the back of the steering wheel. Next, we gingerly apply throttle with the right foot, bringing the RPMs up to between 1100 and 1200, and let go of one paddle. Off the brake, the instructor tells us. Overriding every bit of our muscle memory from years of driving that tells us it's a bad idea, we lift our left foot. Our finger on the remaining shift paddle is what keeps us still. The man in the passenger seat, whom we can't see on account of our limited view from the helmet and the tunnel vision that accompanies the adrenaline hit one gets just before launching a satanic, 840 horsepower car down a narrow drag strip, says, off the other paddle, and gas. We comply, our finger lifting off the second paddle, and our foot rolling hard into the right pedal. In an instant, the engine roars to life and the weight shifts to the rear wheels as they bite into the sticky pavement. As the demon pulls our skeleton and the rest of our organs forward, our eyes and stomach seem to float in place for a moment. Eventually, they catch up, and we notice the whine of the 2.7 liter per rev supercharger, before the automatic transmission makes its first quick but jarring shift. Third gear arrives in another instant, and the car revs and shifts again with our right foot planted on the floor. We're still headed dead straight, we realize with relief as the 8th mile marker approaches, the car shifting into 5th gear. We're off the gas, and we coast down the drag strip to our exit, chuckling to ourselves. Once we realize we made it through our first pass intact, we begin to sweat again as our body decides it's safe to resume normal functions. We pull off the strip, roll down the windows, and head back to the staging area. We've got two more runs to go before we have to give up our seat to the next driver. A second time, we roll up the windows, pull through the water box, spin our tires, and set up our run. A second time, our instructor walks us through the launch procedure. This time, a little more confident, we let go of the second paddle and dig into the accelerator, though not nearly as smoothly as our first launch. The rear wheels hop but eventually bite and the demon takes off. We're glad just to be headed straight as the dizzying g-forces build and release, build and release as the car rows through its gears, 